It's outrageous that illegals can get tax refunds. Illegal immigrants who have never paid taxes can now claim tax refunds due to President Barack Obama's executive action. But did you know that they can file under hundreds of different fake names and collect hundreds of thousands of dollars in benefits because there are a few ways to detect fraud? Yes, this is going to happen, plus they can register to vote in many states unchallenged. Forget that they will get hundreds of free Obama phones per person and also collect multiple benefits for food stamps. They will also qualify for health care subsidies and sex change benefits. They will get electric subsidies, heating allowances and if they bring their children. Of course they will get free daycare so they can recover from the long journey to get to America. You need to look at this, it's a real eye-opener. When you view ESPA you will understand why Obama refuses to say the words radical Islam. This checked out with Google and Snopes. Did you know that we now have any available Muslim government? Jen Brennan, current head of CIA converted to Islam while stationed in Saudi Arabia, Obama's top advisor. Valerie Jarrett is a Muslim who was born in Iran where her parents still live. Hillary Clinton's top advisor, Huma Bedin, is a Muslim, whose mother is a member of the Muslim Sisterhood and whose brother is a member of the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt now. Assistant Secretary for Policy Development for Homeland Security, Arif Akon, is a Muslim. Homeland Security Advisor, Mohammed Alibiri, is a Muslim. Obama advisor and founder of the Muslim Public Affairs Council, Salam al Marilorti, is a Muslim. Obama's Sharia czar, Imam Muhammad Majid, of the Islamic Society of North America, is a Muslim. Advisory Council on Faith Based Neighborhood Partnerships, Ibu Patel, is a Muslim. And last but not least, our closet Muslim himself, Barack Hussein Obama. It's questionable if Obama ever officially took the oath of office when I was sworn in. I did not repeat the oath to defend our nation properly and our constitution. Later I was the Democrats claimed given the oath again in private. CIA Director John Brennan took his oath on a copy of the Constitution, not a Bible. Congressman Keith Ellison took his oath on a copy of the Quran. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman was vilified, tarred and feathered and almost by Democrats concern when she voiced her Asayrka Muslims taking over our government, considering all an original appointments. It would explain why Obama and his minions are systematically destroying our nation, supporting radical Muslim groups worldwide, opening our southern border, and turning a blind eye to the genocide perpetrated on being Christians all over Africa and the Middle East. The Obama does more damage, the more arrogant he's become. Our nation and our government has been infiltrated by people who want to destroy us. It can only get worse. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.